What makes a black boy a black boy? Is it measured in distance? The kilometers between father and son are measured in mass. His heavy heart, the weight of his father's missing hugs. When the son scratched his knee, falling off a bicycle, jumping over a fence in a prison fight, or now down on both knees praying to a father that turned his back against his only son. What makes a black son a black son? Is it in the presence of his father's scent? Cigarette smoke or not, his father's scent. Rich dead or not, poor dead remains best to know dead at all. What makes a black son a black son? Is it in his mother's fears when the sun sets? In her prayers that her son makes it home before sunset? Or in her tears when the sun finally rises but her son has set in the middle of the streets never to rise again? What makes a black man a black man? Is it in the extra layer of skin he has to wear as backup? Or the skin he has to shed to man up, back up as the foreskin, isn't it? How the rainbow tossa boy drags his body up the mountain in hope of pride in his father's eyes to only return to the same claws that he's always been trapped in. What makes a black man a black man? Is that in the burden of carrying the sins of his fathers and those of his forefathers, doesn't it show on his shoulders when he walks? Is it in the way he talks? The ancient mummy of masculinity crawling out of his mouth when he speaks. Is it in his eyes? The love in them when he looks at his lover, his baby's mother, or the smell of death in his breath as he squeezes the last breath out of her. What makes a pitch black man a black man? Is it the Afro?